up everybody It's your boy like Sonny and Jimmy I'm back for more The Smash Your Favorite Movie boy And today we are back for more uh, The Smash Your Favorite Movie Yeah baby and today we are continuing a chapter 4 baby Or oh, chapter 5 I guess Alright if you are new to the channel Please hit the like and subscribe button Smash the like button Smash the like button Share button Turn on the notification to be a Facebook and the night. We are just we are just going to jump him. Oh, oh uh, okay, but for the ball, first one. Uh, alright, 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 we go. We, alright, chapter uh, three mini, let's go. Chapter four, three mini. Alright, so. It's a bottle of glue. That's where I keep my clothes. Well, my shirts anyway. The one downer about being a mermaid is that I miss out on all the great shoe sales. Yeah. Wow, this mirror is filthy. It's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that lets some air in. Alright, so... Hey, you! Out of my way! I need to get out of here to help my friends! I'm sorry, Princess Mindy. I was specifically instructed by the king not to let you leave until he returns. Oh, come on. You don't understand. If you don't let me out of here, someone could die. My father has a bit of a temper. I know. That's exactly why I'm not letting you out of my sight. I don't want to end up in that dungeon like that poor crown polisher. He threw the crown polisher in the dungeon? Yeah, he said. Now that I don't have a crown, what do I need you for? Why don't you go polish some bars and poof, to the dungeon he went. I ain't going out like that. Doesn't that sort of injustice make you mad? It's all relative. I mean to say, it could have been worse. Could have been me. Could still be me if you follow me. That is the wrong point of view if you ask me. It's a point of view that's kept me out of jail so far. Okay. You realize that blindly obeying orders without thinking is a dangerous thing to do? Not as dangerous as blindly disobeying orders. I have to go. I can't let you. No, I mean, I have to stop talking to you. You're ruffling my scales. I'm sorry, princess. I'm only doing my job. Yes. Go, we need something. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You better not close that window now, or it'll get stuck shut. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Fire! Fire! Quick! We have to leave the castle immediately! I'm not that gullible. We had the castle fireproofed by building it underwater. Okay, I know you aren't going to believe this, but a major sea monster is outside my window. And he said something about your mother. My mother? Out of my way! For king and country and mommy. Well, this is embarrassing. I seem to be stuck. Mindy! A little help here. Mindy! Sorry, come. I think I've been had. That took care of him. Now I need to get to Daddy's seahorse carriage. He keeps it just outside the courtyard. All right, let's go. Hello, go on. Hi. Hello, princess. Wow, it smells so much better down here now than it did last week. The stench level is almost tolerable. Yep. The guards have stopped passing out and everything. What was it? You're probably better off not knowing. Let's just say, mold can crop up in the most unexpected and surprising places. <laughs> I can't believe Daddy threw the crown polisher in the dungeon after all. Yeah, he was very upset. 
He and me put him in the worst cell. It has bad lighting and its chi is all out of whack. I could spend five minutes in there without losing it. When is he getting out? Well, your father said never, not in a million billion years. I will see him rot for an eternity and another dozen eternities on top of that. So? Tuesday, probably. Can I see the crown polisher, please? Sorry, princess. I can't let you by. The king wouldn't approve. I just want to talk to him. Nope, no. I can't let you. Sorry. How goes the dungeon running business? Oh, it's thriving. There's always someone to question or throw into a cell or shackle. I just wish I was better at it. Don't be so hard on yourself. I think you run this dungeon just fine. Well, you know, they don't teach you this at school. If I had a book on it, I could do so much better. A book on running a dungeon, huh? Yeah, it could tell me what to do. Like, should I use the rack? Should I glower menacingly? Or give an evil laugh? <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. Huh. Sounds like it would be an interesting read. I'm gonna go. I'll come back and visit soon. Okay. I like it when you visit. Alright, so it's... I said they got a book or can. The Dungeon Master's Handbook. And it's got a picture of a dragon on it. Nah. Look what I brought you. The Dungeon Master's Handbook. Wow. Thanks, Mindy. You're the greatest. Do you think I could get in to see the crown polisher now? Okay, okay. But just for a minute. And don't tell anyone I let you go back there. The first thing it says in this here book is never show your soft side. I promise I'll tell everyone how scary and intimidating you are. Thanks, princess. All right, thank you so much. Oh dear, Daddy really did throw you in the dungeon. Poor little fella. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, princess. I can't believe Daddy went behind my back and threw you in here. After promising me he wouldn't. I'm going to have to have a few words with him. N no, please don't. I know you mean well, but I think it just upsets him more. Re really, I'm okay here for a while. How are you passing the time in here? I count rats. It takes longer than you might think. I do miss my old job, though. Oh, what I wouldn't give for something to polish. Say, can you polish this mirror up for me? Really? Can I? It's been so long since I've polished something, I'm starting to go into withdrawal. Here you go. Thanks. Okay. There you are. Polished as good as new. Thanks, little fella. Hi, any idea where Daddy went? Mindy, shouldn't you be in your room? I thought I heard the king say you were grounded. I was grounded, but then Daddy called and said that I was free to go. Oh, that old softy. Yeah, freeing your own daughter from imprisonment. He's quite the teddy bear. Why are you still here? Shouldn't you be away with Daddy? Well, I should, but I asked permission to stay here because I, um... Want to, um, go see Dolly. Dolly? The ranch hand? Wait a second. Do you like her? Uh, maybe, but I'm too afraid to talk to her. Don't be afraid. Just go tell her how you feel. Any girl would be lucky to have you as an admirer. Do you really think so? 
Yeah. Now don't waste another minute. Go tell her how you feel. Okay. I will. But wait. What's wrong? I need to check how I look. I need a mirror. You have one I can borrow? I do have one somewhere. Uh, I'm not here. I have to go. Bye, Mindy. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Nah. Here's my mirror. Wow, que magnifique. How could I have doubted my own suavity? Thank you, princess. And now I must go. Well, I have a date with destiny. Good luck. With eyes like mine, luck isn't necessary. Wow, that was a quick 180. Haha. <laughs> I, I did, did, did chapter five. Chapter five. Mindy has found our heroes just as they are about to enter the dreaded Great Trench, where dark and evil things lurk. They have lost their precious paddy mobile once again. Mindy senses their low morale and boosts their confidence by bestowing false mustaches made of seaweed upon them. With renewed vigor, they We're plunge men. headlong into the Great Trench, yeah. confident they can handle anything it throws their way. Chapter 5, and trench it, huh? Let's go. We have to cross this plane to get to the other side of the trench. It looks pretty spooky, but I know we can do it. We just passed a hotel. Can't we stay there for a while? No, Patrick. We have to get to Shell City. We don't have much time left. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa! The stench! Smells like feet. Yeah, it does. It's horrible. Oh, I kind of liked it. If the fog gets any thicker, it's going to be tough to see where we're going. Huh. Hi! Huh? Oh, hi. Are you feeling all right? You seem a little nervous. I'm lost. I need to get to the other side of this trench, and I can't find my way. Hey! I need to cross the trench, too. Maybe I can help you. I really doubt it. I mean, I've been stuck out here for days. The fog is too thick to see very far. You'll get just as lost as I am. Have you noticed all the strangely shaped coral formations around here? Those are skulls. Well, whatever they're called, aren't they pretty? They're dreadful. That's not a very positive attitude. This fog is pretty bad, huh? Yeah. You need a lighthouse to cross this place without getting hopelessly lost. I'm gonna go. Sure. Whatever. It's too foggy to see. I could get eaten by a group. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be the that way. Burn. Ah, yeah, yeah. Walk up to walk to hotel. Ah, hello, Kevin. Hello there. Nice place you got here. It is indeed. Oh, indeed it is. Isn't this sort of an odd place for such a swank hotel? What can I tell you? Speculative real estate is a risky business. And I got this place for a song. The land was an old oyster bed. Nobody would touch it. I demand room service. Two Krabby Patties to my room immediately. You don't have a room. Hmm. 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 Hmm
Well then, I demand mouth service. Two Krabby Patties to my mouth immediately. How about lip service? I think I could accommodate your gracious and noble personage there, sir. Are you insulting me? Because if you are, you do it better than anyone I've ever met. If that is truth, then my life was not in vain. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. Those look comfortable, but this is no time to sit down. Yeah, don't come on. Ah, here come on. Wow, your room is so much bigger than mine. Well, bigger than I imagine mine would be if I had one. I'm guessing you usually knock before coming into a person's room. Nah, don't see much point. Are you all right, ma'am? You seem upset. No, I'm not all right, as a matter of fact. Somebody stole my pearls last night from right out of this very room. And whomever it was left this strange orb in its place. I'm in a state of shock. Pearls, huh? Patrick, what do you think? I think it's a job for Detective SpongeBob and Inspector Star. Me too. Never fear, madam. We have never lost a case, or even taken on a case. In either case, we have a perfect record. To be brief, case. Oh, dear. We will investigate this matter fully. Search every nook and cranny for clues, just in case. Be all over this place like a cheap suit. Case. I, I don't know what to say. Inspector Star, we must keep our eyes peeled. Give everything a long, hard look. If people think we're rude, so be it. If staring will solve this crime, then we shall stare. Case. Hmm. Staircase. May we ask you some questions about the incident? I suppose so. Was your door locked last night? Yes. I lock it when I go to sleep. I leave it unlocked otherwise, assuming people will be courteous enough to knock before barging in. Apparently, I was wrong on that count. When was the last time you saw your pearls? Last night. I'm not sure of what time, but they were on the table next to the lantern. I don't know how someone could have gotten in here without me hearing them. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Yes, a pleasant mindless break for me as well. All right. I can do that. Those are strange holes. They look like wood rot, but it's too dark to see down them. If only I had more light. All right. I wouldn't crawl underneath there without a really good reason. Hi. What are you doing in my room? Oh yeah? Nice. So what's it got to do with me? Well, I was hoping I could ask you some questions about it. Mm, fine. Only well, don't take too long. I'm a busy guy. Lots of irons in the fire, you know? <laughs> do you know what all these holes in the floor are? I don't know what caused them. But the other day, I saw an oyster pop out of one. It must have seen me, because it ducked back inside immediately. I see. Last night. I stayed in. It was kind of stormy last night. Kicked up all sorts of fog over the plains. I didn't want to get caught out there. You didn't leave your room at all? I didn't say that. I said I stayed in. I went to the lobby and read a magazine for it. May have wandered around the halls a bit, but I didn't leave the hotel. Did you see anything or anyone suspicious while you were walking around? Not particularly. The manager was asleep at his desk. Aside from him, I didn't run into anybody.
Uh... The manager was asleep at his desk? Yeah, snoring quite loudly, in fact. Made it difficult to read. I almost woke him up, but on second thought, realized he's even more annoying when he's awake. Anything else you can think of that might help? Nothing unusual happened last night at all? Well, now that you mention it, I heard quite a bit of noise before I went to sleep, coming from beneath the floorboards. Sounded like something dragging. Dragging sounds? Hmm. That's what I said. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. All right. Don't go on. Dog, it's been... Uh, I... I wouldn't crawl underneath there without a really good reason. Hi, it's me again. Oh, the sheer luck with which I've been graced. Someone found me, I may think. Do you know one of your tenants had some pearls stolen from her? Yes. Victoria Ellen in room one. How could I not know she has made quite a stink about it? May I ask you some questions about the crime? If you must. Hmm. Where were you on the night of yesterday? I was here, at this desk. The same place I am every night and every day. I don't sleep well. Hmm. I see. And did you see anyone suspicious come through the lobby? Let me think. Red came through in the early evening. He stayed in room two. Strange person. But he pays his bills on time, which is more than I can say for Victoria. Hmm. Nobody else? Well, um, all right. All right, I confess. I cannot withstand your incisive and brutal questioning. I did it. I took her pearls. Just please, no more of these vicious questions. Really? You did it? No. I was kidding. What are you, some kind of knucklehead makes spasmatron? Barnacles! Do you know anyone who might want to take Victoria's pearls? Let me think. You. I have it. Ah, now we are getting somewhere. Where might I find this mysterious you? In a mirror. I see, I see. Uh -huh. Interesting. Do you know anything about Mrs. Allen? Well, I know. She's been staying here for a month and hasn't paid her bills. What is wrong with her? She obviously has money, but I'm not seeing any of it. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. I wouldn't crawl underneath there without a really good reason. Hmm, what's the Hello again, elderly person. Hello again, slightly annoying and yet oddly endearing person. May we ask you some questions about the incident? I suppose so. What are all these little holes all over the floor? I don't know. I thought they might be sea termites, but when I spoke to the manager, he assured me there were no termites in his hotel. And then he huffed at me. I'm guessing you don't like the manager very much. He keeps hounding me for money when he knows I haven't gotten my sailing security check yet this month. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he took the pearls himself. He certainly isn't helping me find them. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Yes, a pleasant mindless break for me as well. Those are strange holes. They look like wood rock, but it's too dark to see down them. If only I had more light. Hi again, Patrick. Oh, hi, SpongeBob. 
What you doing? I'm a pirate. Arg. Sounds dangerous. You can say that again. I've got to go, Patrick. Okay, bye, SpongeBob. Hello again. Do I need to call hotel security? I'm looking into the disappearance of some pearls. Oh yeah? Nice. So what's it got to do with me? Well, I was hoping I could ask you some questions about it. Mm, fine. Well, it don't take too long. I'm a busy guy. Lots of irons in the fire, you know? Do you know what all these holes in the floor are? I don't know what caused them. But the other day, I saw an oyster pop out of one. It must have seen me, because it ducked back inside immediately. I see. Thanks. Hi, I'm with room service, and we're checking with all the tenants to see if they'd like a complimentary mint with their next meal. You don't look like you're with room service, although I bet you can clean a mean dish. That, sir, is out of line, but true. Well, nice talking to you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Those are strange holes. They look like wood rock, but it's too dark to see down them. If only I had more light. Get that much, get that much right knee. Hi again, Patrick. Oh, hi, SpongeBob. What you doing? I'm a pirate. Arg. Sounds dangerous. You can say that again. I've got to go, Patrick. Okay, bye, SpongeBob. Bye, bye, go on. I wouldn't crawl underneath there without a really good reason. Hey, it looks 
like there's another room under here. I wonder how I can get there. Maybe the manager knows. Hello, manager. Hi, it's me again. Oh, the Sherlock which I've been graced. Someone found me, I may think. Well, well, well. We have come to a conclusion from our investigation. Great hell, I'm all ears. Can't wait to hear. There is something living under the hotel that comes in through holes in the floors of your room. I think this creature may have taken Mrs. Ellen's pearls. No, can't be. I knew something like this. Something like what? Well, when I bought the land for this hotel, there was an old oyster bed here. I didn't think it would make a difference. But maybe. Just maybe. Oysters, huh? May I have permission to check under the hotel? Oh, yes, it's all my fault. Check! Check! Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity. Your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. These look like Mrs. Ellen's string of pearls. The little guy must have thought they were his. I'd better return them to him. Baby, stay here. I'll be out in a minute. Okay, don't. I thought that guy said there'd be lights in here. They are lights, but first of all. Beyond the doors here. Isn't it? 
pink door. Right? I knew the pink door was the right one. Okay. Right now. Here we are. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys the video. Hit the like, hit the like, and subscribe down below. Hit the like and subscribe this video. Smash the like button, subscribe button. Smash the like button, subscribe button. Turn on the notification, turn up your face on it. And looks like I will see you guys in next time. See ya guys. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye everybody. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Uh -huh.